Hey guys, I'm Jay, and welcome back to Maybelline's YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be using some Superstay products as well as some City Mini palettes and stuff like that to create a colourful, all-day, long-lasting makeup tutorial. And then after that as well, later today, I'll come back and check in with you guys to see how the foundation and the makeup is wearing. The first thing we're going to do is prime our face, because if we want like an all-day, long-lasting makeup, we do need to prime. The two primers that I've got here today are these two here, and these ones are the Pore Minimizing Primer, which is this bottle here, and then the Hydrating Primer, which is in the blue one, just here. Um, one of my like all-time tips to tell people when they want like all day long lasting makeup is to prime I feel like a lot of people sometimes forget to prime or they don't believe in primers I just feel that it keeps that makeup on just for that little bit longer. It was a blurry one So I just focused that on the area that I have pores and then the next one which is the hygiene one I'm gonna pop that around the rest of my face and this primer has hyaluronic acid in it as well which is super good because it's going to hydrate the skin. Especially if you're wearing makeup for like a long, like a long amount of time, you want your skin to stay hydrated underneath. Especially once you put um, like powders and foundations and concealers on, your skin can become a little bit dry. So the next step for our makeup routine will be foundation. And for foundation today, I'm going in with this one here, which is Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And I'm using the shade 32 Golden today. So I just spreaded out three pumps of those of the foundation and I'm just going to dot that around the face. Sticking on the whole Superstay range, I'm going to jump in with this one here. Is the Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer, and this one is in the shade Light 15. This one has more of a yellow undertone, and the one sitting just behind me where my finger is just there. That one's also a light shade, but that one has a pink undertone as well. So, pretty much what I'm getting out there is, when you go into store, have a look at your undertones as well, and try and match your foundation undertone with your concealer undertone. So because this was a yellow, like a yellow undertone foundation, I'm using a yellow undertoned um, concealer. Now before I go in to set the face, I'm going to take the exact same concealer and just prime my eyes with it, ready for eyeshadow. So now that everything is blended out, I'm going to jump in with some powder and I'm going to jump in with, um, first of all I'm going to set under the eyes. So I'm going to use a loose powder for under the eyes and for the rest of the face I'm going to set it with a pressed powder. So for under the eyes I'm jumping in with this one here. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10. And I'm just going to throw some of that into the lid, um, just like that. I'm going to take like a pencil, kind of like bullet kind of brush. Just lightly tap into the powder, not too much. Looking up and then just setting it and just patting the powder in. I'm gonna jump in with this one here, and this one is the Fit Me Press Powder, the Matte and Poreless one, and this is in the shade 220. I've got a really big fluffy powder brush, and just kind of dip in there, and then just press the powder onto the foundation. Do you want a long wearing look? Powder is like your best friend. Powder will keep your makeup on all day. It'll make you look smooth, it'll like make you look velvety. I just jumped off camera really quickly and did one of the eyeshadows on one eye only because I couldn't really know what I was going to do for eyeshadow so I thought that I'd pretty much just do it off camera and then come on camera and show you this eye if that kind of makes sense. So, um, the eyeshadow palettes that I used were the City Mini palettes and I used these four here. So I used the Mad About Town, the Downtown Sunrise, the Rooftop Bronzers, and the Chill Brunch Neutrals. So I used all four of these palettes to achieve this look. Let's have a go at doing it for a second time on my right eye. So the first one that I used was the City Mini Palette and this one was the Mad About Town. I'll open that one up for you guys. So I used this shade just here, this brown shade in the middle, mixed with this shade just here. You get a transition colour and I just popped it on a really fluffy brush. Tip into both of those, mixing them together, dust off a bit of the excess and then just Pretty much circular motions. I'm going to go into the exact same palette and I'm going to dive into this brown shade that's just here. So it's a darker brown and it's more of a warm toned one and I'm going to get that on a smaller brush that kind of just looks like this one here. And with this one, I'm going to go in super lightly to build the colour up and I'm going to put that into the crease here and a little bit on the outer V. 
time to move on to the cut crease. For the cut crease, you can either use a foundation or you can use a concealer. It's completely up to you. I just had like some leftover on my little thing here from when I pumped it out to do my face. So I have some spare leftover from that. So I'm just going to use that for the cut crease. Just going to get it on a little small paddle brush and just on that eye. I know this eye. Oh, that could have gone, could have gone really bad. I'm going to get onto the lid just like that. And then from there, looking up until it transfers. When it transfers onto the upper lid, that's when you know that you've done a good job. You start to draw around and connect. Right now I'm gonna get into the matte about, ooh. I set that concealer down on the lid. I'm gonna jump in with the matte about town palette and just take that white shade that's in the very top here. I'm gonna take it on like a super random, just like fluffy brush and then just set that down just so it's not sticky anymore. Okay, so now it's time to jump in with this shimmer shadow. So I'm going to use two different shimmers on the eye. So one for the inner corner of the eye and then one towards the outside. So for the outer bit of the eye, just towards the middle, I'm going to go into the Chill Brunch Neutrals palette from the City Mini palette collection. And then take this shimmer that's just down here. I'm going to swirl my brush in there and so it kind of loosens it up a little bit so it becomes more like a dust than like that. And then just press my brush into it. So it's like more of like a pigment rather than like a pressed not swiping, but just pressing it onto the eye. When I get to the top of the cut crease, I'm going to scratch back and forward. Corner of the eye, so I don't want to keep the same shadow. I want to kind of lighten the middle bit of the eye up just a little bit. I'm going to go in with the rooftop, rooftop bronzer palette and dive into this shade, which is just here, which is a light shimmer shade. Again, diving into the pan, scratching back and forward to get it more like a dust. So it becomes more of a pigment. And my brush is loaded up now, and we're going to put that towards the inner bit and around the cut crease, kind of blending it around. Then I'm going to dive into the Downtown Sunrise palette and take just that deep shade that's just down the corner here. And circular motions around the outer corner to mix in that cut crease that's just here with the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just going to take that exact same shade on the same brush and then just scratch it back and forward on the outer corner of the eye. To link up the outer V here with the lower lash lines, just back and forth like that. And diving into this palette here, just taking a mix of these two shades. I'll pop that just towards the middle of the lower lash line, just here. And then I'm going to grab the same brush that we used to set our face before and dip into the Fit Me powder, just like that. And then with this powder, I'm just going to dust off the fallout that we had from the eyeshadows. Some mascara and then I'll head off camera and pop on some lashes. But for mascara today, I'm going with the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I'm going to take that and coat the top lashes as well as the bottom lashes. Then I'll jump off camera, pop on a pair of lashes, and then we'll be back to finish off the rest of the face. And this is in the shade Light Cool 100. This one is a bronzer and contour in one, so I'm just going to kind of kill two birds with one stone and then just contour and bronze at the same time. So I'm just going to take a angled brush just like that, swirl it into the pan and just begin to contour and bronze the face. Now that we've kind of bronzed and contoured, let's move on to blush because we have blush, highlighter and then lips and then we are done. If this is a little individual blush that Maybelline has, I'm going to use it today because it's nice and pink and has a little bit of a shimmer in it as well as you can see. And this one is in shade number 15, Nude. That on an angled brush as well, but this one is a lot less dense than the contour one, like that. And then just pop that on my tops of my cheeks. Blushed up and done. The next bit is highlighter and obviously I'm going in with the Master Chrome highlighter and this is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. Mine looks a little bit beat up because I use it all the time. I literally use this highlighter all the time. I don't stop using it. It's like my favourite one and look, it's just so metallic. There we go. So I'm going to take that onto the cheeks just like that. Boom. A little bit here as well. This one I use like very like sparingly as well, only because like it's that intense. But on the chin, I'm gonna aim that just here in between the brows and the bridge of my nose just there. About like tapping a lot of it off, just taking it down the middle of my forehead as well. Then I'm gonna take a mini fan brush and then 
dip it into the highlighter as well, knock some of it off, and then highlight the brow bone with it as well. Okay, now on to lips, I'm going to pick a nice nude and to stay with the Superstay theme, since we use Superstay foundation and Superstay concealer, we need to obviously use a Superstay lip as well, because we want this to last as long as possible. So I'm going to dive in with this one here. This one is in the shade 65 Seductress, and it's like a really, it's like a really nice nude. So I'm just going to take that. The look is done, and this is what we've come up with. It's a nice brownish kind of look, just like a simple kind of glam with a nice nude lip as well, and then like a cute little highlight moment with a touch of blush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off camera, and then I'll come back with a check-in as well to see how the foundation is going, because you want to see how long this foundation can last, because it is a super stay, like long wear foundation and stuff. So in a couple of hours, I'm going to come back, and then I will show you guys what my foundation looks like. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I am back now and I've had the foundation on for about four to five hours and I have given it a good wet test. I usually keep foundation on for about that long before I start to like take it off and it starts to get annoying. So I've kept it on four to five hours and this is what we have. So pretty much on the forehead, I can see that it's kind of gotten a little bit oily towards the middle and then also on either sides of the nose as well. So just here I've got a bit oily and also a little bit there we can see the oil starting to seep through. The lipstick seemed to stay on really well. Um, oh, the eyeshadow did crease a little bit inside there. Uh, but that's okay, because I can just kind of fix it up with a little bit more eyeshadow. The oils here are seeping through just a little bit towards here on either sides of the nose, which is where I usually get oily, but I can just powder that down with a little bit of powder and it should be fine. So say I just go like this. That helps get rid of the oiliness just on the top. So my, oily, my oils did start to come through, but that usually does happen after about four to five hours of wear for me. And I always have to touch up with a bit of powder. But yeah, the pressure wraps up today's video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and also subscribe to Maybelline's YouTube channel down below as well. So yeah, this was just a quick little natural glam look as well with using all super safe products as well that you can use to keep your makeup on for a really, really long time. So yeah, I hope you guys learned some cool tips and tricks today. And I hope you guys learned how to keep your makeup on for a really, really long time. And I'll see you all in my next video. See you there. Bye. Mwah.